right so hey guys and welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to my channel so straight to the point this is going to be a hair tutorial of how I created styled and I'm slaying this hair and I absolutely love it it's giving me like a bohemian vibe and I love 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 I love the color this is this is 30 this is the color 30 but this is it this is a crochet DIY hair from start to finish. I curled the hair to get the curl pattern looking like this. You can definitely finesse it to your style and to your preference, but I'm gonna be showing you how I made it look like this. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this from start to finish, but before I start, I just wanted to point out that I misplaced or I lost some of the clips. So I had to react or show you guys the steps all over again. So in case it's a bit like, oh there and oh there, oh what? Do you get, just know that I had to refilm it just so you guys could understand how I created this hair from start to finish. So if you are interested, then definitely keep on watching. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> all right, so hey guys, sorry if I look a hot mess i was trying to edit this video and then i realized that i lost some of the clips actually about 20 percent of the clips yes i'm back i've had this makeup all day all right so to begin the extension that i used was the because i used just one pack i used one pack of the darling hair extension and i used it in the shade 30 which is like a burnt orange shade the extensions you guys saw me wear earlier so for kind of reference and remaking purposes because i've used the only color that i had i'm going to be using these extensions and do bear in mind that when you get these extensions it comes with two individually wrapped bundles can i use bundles for synthetic hair but you get what i'm saying Sha. yeah it comes with two individually packed so i already used one initially remaining one so i'm going to be using this one to show you guys how we kind of cut the hair and we curled it to get like that wavy beach wave bohemian wave curl pattern so what we're going to do now is to kind of loosen up the braids because it always comes braided so i'm going to divide this into two then fold it and divide it into two again. So we can get like four, one, two, three, four. We can get four sections. Now the reason why I'm dividing it into four equal sections is because I wanted something really short, something that is about like 12 to 10 inches long or 10 to 12 inches long. I wanted something really Afro-like you get me i didn't want something too long so that's why i was going for the four part now if you want something longer i could definitely divide this into three or just into two just cut this and that's it or you can fold it into three equal parts and cut it so i'm going to be dividing this into so always keep these rubber bands because they always come in handy whenever you're working with synthetic hair because synthetic hair could be really difficult to work with. So I'm going to also divide this into two again, two equal halves, make sure it's equal. And we're going to divide this into two. Okay, all right. So we're just going to keep this aside. Yeah, just so it doesn't get messy. Now remember those rubber bands we talked about that I said would come in handy this is perfect time to just wrap it so that it doesn't fly away just keep it in one section so i'm just going to wrap this up and just keep this aside so make sure it's secure and doesn't go anywhere so i just took one part of it remember i divided it into four equal halves so i'm going to take one part and this part is what i like to think is the most tedious part this is what i like to call the evening out <laughs> part of the evening out of the hair i don't know what the actual name is or if it actually has like a process or whatever but this is where i kind of even out the blonde cut that we did now we're not going for something blonde we're going for something more of a natural feathered you know tip so what we're going to do now is to even this out and you're just going to just hold this firm not too firm and then just keep you know dragging it bits by bits 
so also remember that I did not use this color this is color 27 I use color 30 to get that burnt orange look except you want to go for something blonde then definitely you can use this this is color 27 but I use color 30 all right guys so when we're done evening this out it looks like a hot mess and you don't want it to look like this you want to definitely straighten it out and I'm trying to be as basic as possible so in case I'm too slow for you you can actually fast forward it I would leave a, a timestamp down below showing you guys the whole process so you don't have to watch it entirely except you are a beginner and you want to know it step by step so yeah um, I'm going to do it to hold this really firm because you do not want the hair flying away and you're just going to start brushing it and usually whenever you're brushing your hair you never want to start from here because obviously the hair is already tangled up you always want to start from the tip and then work your way gently upwards it's always that easy and you can always apply this rule with your natural hair with your actual human hair extensions so just start from the tip and then work your way and it's just so easy yeah so i'm just going to brush this out this is what we have here and as you guys can see the tips are no longer looking as blunt as they were which is exactly what you want to achieve so now moving on i'm going to be using this soulmate hair conditioner but you obviously want to condition the hair moisturize the hair so it doesn't look frizzy just to bring back life to the hair and give it a little bit of shine so that's what we're doing now we're just going to moisturize it so it looks healthy yeah we're going to move on to is the actual creation of the curls where we actually create the curl pattern now depending on whatever curl pattern you want you go do your thing create your pattern and that's something i love about this synthetic hair is that you can definitely play around with it you can you know create any pattern you want you can actually twist this you can braid this you can do what i'm doing now you can use thread you can use prime rods literally this is like a diy you know project that you can work with and i love diys you already know that right so yeah what we're going to do now is to kind of section this into the section that i want so i wanted like my curls to be quite big not too tiny so i'm going to make my i'm going to pick this amount of hair so yeah this is the size of the amount of hair we picked out so what to do now is to use my bendy rollers and guys so what i'm going to do now is to put this right here i'm just going to put this make sure it's leveled same it's leveled yes so i'm going to secure this right here and i'm just going to twist this right so now this is what we have so now this is what we have then i'm just going to start rolling it on to the bendy rollers and we're just going to roll this roll this roll this and now what we're doing now is that we're creating the curl pattern that we want and how tight we want it and as you guys can see i didn't roll it so tight so what we're going to move on to is the hot water method now with these extensions you cannot use um dry heat however you can use wet heat do you understand so in terms of wet heat we're going to be using hot water to curl it all right guys so now i have everything pretty much in this bowl right here so what i'm going to do now is to just submerge this in hot water and that is what it's going to activate the curls Again, you want to be careful when you're dealing with hot water. I'm just going to just bathe the hair in hot water and just submerge it in hot water. And... This is what we have now. I'm just going to take something to just push this in so that it actually sets now this doesn't have to be in hot water for too long it just needs to be in the hot water for about 30 seconds to a minute and i'm just going to just go ahead to just pour the water away 
Before you pour it away, make sure the extensions have come in contact with the hot water so it activates the curls. All right, so I went ahead to just drain the water. I'm just going to go ahead to just pour this on a towel and just let this air dry. All right, so this is what it should kind of like look like when you're done. So I'm just going to go ahead to unravel the curls just so we can see what we have created. And this is what it looks like. The curls are a bit loose and a bit big, which is exactly how I wanted it. If you want it a bit tighter, use a, a slimmer perm rod or use a slimmer object to curl it. But I wanted it to be loose, wavy, something like this. This was just perfect for me. So I'm just going to go ahead to just unravel the curls and I'm doing it really gently. I'm just caressing the tips to just open it up and then we can just you know divide it into like four five six sections which is what i'm doing right now and if you divide it it's gonna be a lot more voluminous it's gonna have a lot more volume a lot more um puffiness to it and i like that puffy look so i'm just going to divide that and as you guys can see i've already divided it into four five um yeah five now so one could take you about six to five um, mini pieces so i'm going to be using my wee cap and my head as well not my head <laughs> for my um dummy head and i'm going to be crocheting i do have a couple of crochet videos i make a lot of crochet hair so i'm not going to be as in depth as possible but i'm just looping in the pieces and i'm making double knots and we're just crocheting that around I am starting from the sides, going to the back, and I'm just trying to fill in all of the spaces. I'm taking in about maybe two, I'm going through like two holes in the weak cap, and that's what I'm doing basically. No method, I'm not trying to layer it because I don't have layers, I'm just crocheting it as I go, taking out or using tiny pieces. If you do not want your head to be this frizzy, this voluminous you can go ahead to just crochet it right away without unraveling the curls but this is what i wanted and this is what i'm doing right now so now i'm just going to just go ahead to do the other side this is what it looks like just doing the back and i'm crocheting it bit by bit i have um a couple of crochet videos like i said previously so definitely do check it out i'll leave it in my card in the top right corner right here so do check it out as well so this is what we have now as you guys can see there's a lot of volume in here i do love the color the color is exactly what i wanted i really do love the color so i'm just going to go ahead to crochet and just you know fill out any bald spots and when i finished crocheting i did notice that it was a bit too big so um yeah i definitely want to be you know careful and watchful and just have an idea of what you want and see if it's giving you that while crocheting so that's what i'm doing just filling in all the belt spots and yeah as i'm going further towards the beginning part i'm going to be i'm going to reduce my hand i'm going to reduce the, the quantity of the weave now this is what it looks like if i do not unravel the curls but yeah, we don't want that so just gonna do that and you know make the front a little less like um voluminous because i do want some bangs so that's what i'm doing right now so i'm just gonna close this up and be done with it okay so this is what it looks like i'm just going to puff it out and what i'm doing right now is to fill like up any belt patches or any belt spots you don't have to do this really because i feel like i could definitely style it in a way that it wouldn't show but i just had a lot more um, product a lot more weave left so i just said let's just you know put everything all in so this is what it looks like like right now all right guys so we're just going to fluff this and as you guys can see the front part of the hair is quite scanty and i want that because i think i'm going to be going for a little bit of bangs and i don't want it to be too full so this for me is absolutely 
perfect and if it's not enough i could always take some from the back and work it but this is what it looks like so far let me move it a little bit further away oh yes guys can you see that but yeah this is what she looks like but yeah this is giving me like bohemian vibes and i'm loving it so yeah let's just put this on and see what she looks like yeah so this is what the inside construction looks like it's pretty decent the wig cap comes with combs so you're gonna secure the hair and this is what it looks like this is how full it is yeah so this is me putting it on my head and i'm just going to go ahead to trim everything down and i really did not have like an idea of what i was doing i just wanted it to be a lot more presentable than it is right now it's still a little bit full actually do you know what i'm doing <laughs> i don't even know what i'm doing i'm just cutting as a spirit leaves and just kind of like brushing out the hair as i'm cutting so it's not like a blunt it doesn't look blunt so i cut and then i just like you know off so like it's so yeah Oopsie, I think I might have cut too much there. Oh, yes. Let me see what it looks like. You know what, guys? You know what, guys? I think, like, where I'm staying or how I'm staying is deceiving me. Let me just... I don't think I actually want the hair to be too, like, even. I would want some parts to be longer than the rest some I am loving the bang but this is what the back of the hair looks like this is what the back of the hair looks like it's definitely too much or is it <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I have makeup on my hands but you know what guys I'm just going to trim the back yeah i can see what i need to take just i'll just freestyle it i'll be back guys. all right guys so i went ahead to chop off the hair and this was what we took off what do you guys think chill i'm just taking my chair up a bit so. yeah so i mean the hair needs a little bit more trimming but okay guys so this is the end of the tutorial i do hope you enjoyed it and again i'm sorry that it's a bit you know here and there but i had to make it work and put out the content and i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was informational and educational and because it was intentional and you know yeah i hope you get the points and i hope you actually learned from this if you did if you think this hair is bomb which i kind of think it is feel free to comment down below let me know what your thoughts are and again thanks for watching my video i'll see you in my next one stick around with me because i'm bringing out more content this week <laughs> yeah so i'll see you in my next one bye guys